some women it might come naturally, for others it can be a bit of a struggle. But what if paying for sex was the answer? And just a warning, the following package contains adult concepts. I was not successful with girls at all when I was a teenager. I, they were an alien species to me. Growing up, I always had issues with my body, which was very much a barrier, a physical barrier for myself. I felt asexual and I felt unattractive. And far from the sexual being, it became the monster in the room and I just never brought it up until I got to 40. I think a lot of people do struggle with sex and being intimate with others. It can actually be very confronting because you might have to be naked, you might have to be vulnerable, you might have somebody's face in your face. These are very confronting things. Uh, if there was an award for the person least likely to become a sex worker when they grow up, I'd, I'd be a candidate for that award. I was looking for a change of career anyway, so I thought I'd go work in a gym, be a personal trainer during the day. and. Uh, try escorting on the side. When Ryan's girlfriend decided to return to her previous career as a sex worker, he supported her and figured it was time for a change himself. When you don't feel valued at your job and you're going to work every day and you get into the office and you just realise your, your work isn't valued, uh, job isn't rewarding, there's no job satisfaction, it kind of makes you think, well, what am I even doing here? It kind of makes you a little bit depressed. He's been an escort for six years now and has 150 porn films under his belt. But like the rest of us, he still doubts himself from time to time. There's a thing called imposter syndrome where uh, people in a particular line of work, for example, don't think they're supposed to be there. They might not think they have the skills for it. I still get that to this day, uh, even though I've been quite successful as an escort and doing porn. Hey. Hi, hello. Hey. Ryan is an incredibly gentle, funny, thoughtful, caring, sexy young man and I enjoy being around him because I'm reminded to be a woman. He's assisted women who have come out of violent relationships, might have medical issues that makes it hard for them to have sex. I think that is wonderful that there's a service available to women to move on. I have some clients who have been in abusive relationships will come to see me and they come to see me because they might not feel safe going out and meeting a man in a bar or through Tinder. For a lot of sex therapists, they do recommend an escort, maybe if it's for something like overcoming trauma, but the person would work very closely with the therapist. For a lot of other people, they just want to experience various things to do with sexuality. But for Jackie, this was more than that. It was an introduction to the world of sex. I was a 40-year-old virgin and I felt there was half of me missing and I just needed to get it out of my way, out of my system. As women get older, they start to feel a bit embarrassed and awkward about the fact that they're still a virgin and it becomes less about the romantic side of things and more about having their first sexual experience in a safe and in controlled environment. Losing my virginity to a sex worker was the best thing I did for myself. It was a life-changing moment for me because I was now available to the world. I felt like a light had switched. But it's such a taboo subject. I'm very selective to who I speak because I'm judged. It's why Jackie has asked that we mask her face and change her voice. Sex workers are viewed sometimes as the one of the bottom rungs of society and they really shouldn't be. Sex is such a taboo subject uh, and I think People see sex workers as an outlet for that, as a bit of a, a punching bag. But Ryan chooses to focus on the positives. Escorting has helped me develop as a human uh, in a lot of different ways. It's, uh, I've seen people, I've had, had people open up to me uh, that they probably wouldn't have otherwise if I wasn't an escort. If I had not gone down the path of seeing a male escort, I actually don't know what my life would be like. I suspect that person would have been a lost, lonely, bitter person. Whereas the person I am now is very available to have great relationships, lots of great sex and a great social life. I lead the conversation into sex. It's the first thing I ask when I catch up with friends.